Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll actually answer a question I have from one of my viewers, which is, uh, how did I do this uh, color sh transition I did in some of the Blackmagic Pocket grading videos? And I'll show you how to do that right now. And I'll show you there's two versions of this, two ways you could do this. So um, let's get right to it. So what you will be needing, of course, is some footage. Uh, you need to have the, the raw footage and you need to have your graded shot and they have to be on top of each other. So for the first version of, of this, I'll um, make the easy version first. Let's go to the beginning of the shot and let's select the top layer, go to the inspector and we have to go into one of my favorite things, the cropping options. And we have to decide if we want to make it go from the left or from the right. I think I want it to go from the right. I think that's the best. So let's uh, take this and crop that all the way there. Hit the keyframe and then let's move in to the footage. Let's say around here. And then we'll just split this to the other side or move this to the other side. And actually, that's the, that's the easy way to do this effect, of course. Okay, if we just reset what we did. There is a uh, alternative way. Um, I don't know if it's better, but it looks a little bit different. So if we go to the effects library and we go down to the generators and we'll then we'll take a solid color, which is right here, and we'll throw a solid color on top of the clip here. And just make it fit. We don't really have to. So now we have a black screen, which is not very nice. Again, let's go down to the cropping and then we'll take from the left and we'll take something from the right because I just need a line. Uh, let's see. Something like that is what I need. And then I want to actually change the color of the solid to... Let's change it to white. So we have this white line. So the first thing we need to do is to take our white line here and go to the transform option and again take the position of the white line and move it away from the screen and then push a keyframe and let's play it and say around here that is when our the uh, our transition or the white line should be at least through the frame okay so now we have this and nothing is happening of course <coughs> So what we need to do is we need to go to the clip and then again to the inspector and then go to the left and right. And I know that I want it from the right. And then I'll just hit a keyframe. And now we need to like stop it somewhere and um, let's align the back layer here with the line, something like that. And then let's just, we, if you want to go even slower, you can use the arrow keys to go a frame forward. It doesn't have to be super precise, but, you know, it just makes it look a little bit better. And let's go one frame, and then it should be all out. So now we have it right here. So that's how you would do that in DaVinci Resolve. Pretty fast and um, pretty easy, by the way. Again, the cropping is really an option that most people don't give a lot of credit but i use it a lot and this is one of the ways you could use the cropping functions in davinci resolve anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it will help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing